I'm going to tell you about the three types of locks that you must have while traveling through Europe or the world, especially if you are a backpacker. First, you need a luggage lock, you need a bigger lock, and you need a cable lock. <laughs> All very scientific terms. Now, most people have these little luggage locks, and you need them when you're going through airports or you're really traveling anywhere on a bus, a train, and you're going to put them on your luggage. But you also want to have this guy for when you're walking through a city. So if I'm going anywhere, if I'm just going from a hostel to a train station or from walking around with my day pack, I always, always, always have a luggage lock on my bag. So I always put the luggage lock through there and just have it locked up no matter where I am. And that way it makes it harder for a thief to unzip the backpack and steal what's inside of it. So just try and make that a habit that you always have your bags locked and then you'll never forget. Next up, you need to have a big lock. I don't know if there's a more scientific term for this, but it needs to be bigger than your luggage lock. And this is the one type of lock that I had to buy while traveling and it's been probably the most helpful. You need this for lockers in hostels. So some hostels don't have lockers, but most do. And most of the ones that do make you put a lock on the locker itself. So this type of lock works perfectly for that. Here we've got a locker, and you can see this person's already done it. Put your stuff inside, and then you put your big locker through there. Put your big lock through there. Lock it up, and you're good to go. You don't need a really expensive one. You just need one that works. I think that one cost me five euro or something like that. Now, the reason that you need this bigger lock, instead of just using your luggage lock, well, two reasons. First of all, the luggage locks break very easily. And if you put them on the lockers under your bed, they can just snap off sometimes if someone walks by and kicks them, which happened in my case. And this little lock's not going to break like that. But also, some of the lockers have more space between here and the actual little loop. And if you go like that and pull back on some of them, not this one, you can actually open the locker almost all the way with this guy sliding through that. Because the little metal loop here is too small and you can see that one's big enough so that won't happen. Now the third type of lock that you need is to have a cable lock, like this guy. This is, I think, about four feet long. It's a, I don't know what that is in meters, a million meters or something. But um, what you want to use it for is when you don't have lockers in your room, you want to, first of all, put your luggage lock on your bags so they can't unzip it. Then you want to put it next to a bed, and you want to loop the cable through here, and then loop the cable down through here or up here. So somewhere where they can't just lift up the leg and pull it out. And then once you do that, it'll make it so that no one can just grab your bag and run away with it. Now obviously they can cut the loops and uh, they can cut into the bag, but I've never had that happen. The main thing is you want to make it so that your bag is more difficult to steal than the person's next to yours. <laughs> and that has worked for me so far for just under two years now staying in hostels. So you want to make sure that the cable lock is long enough that it can fit through not just your little bag, but all of your bags all at once. So this four foot long cable has worked perfectly for me. It's not too long, not too short and it works when I put my big bag next to it and this bag. The other thing, make sure that you don't put the cable lock through your shoulder straps because those can just be undone very easily without cutting anything. Now the other type of lock that you might have heard about is this mesh wire net that covers your entire bag and that makes it so that people can't cut through it. Now I've been in Europe for a little under two years, have never needed anything like that. However, I have heard that in Asia, you might need something like that. But in Europe, you have these three locks, your luggage lock, the bigger lock, and the cable lock, and that's all you need. Now don't forget to subscribe so you can get all my travel tips and travel videos, and hit the like button, and tell me if you have any questions about locks or anything else in the comments below.